Last year, there were a lot of surprises at the 2009 Mr. Olympia. The biggest surprise was the condition that Jake Cutler was in. Um, he was coming out doing fist pumps, and he had this extreme confidence, and he did the quad stomp. And I turned to my wife, and I said, I've never seen Jay like this before. Um, he's, got, he's got a good, very good chance of winning this show back. And it's, I think it's going to be who's going to take second through last place. Um, Branch Warren was also a surprise last year. He came in looking phenomenal, best conditioning that he's ever shown. And there are a few guys that, that, were, that didn't look as good as they had in the past. Um, Dennis Wolf, um, he didn't even place last year. He came in, he was looking very smooth. Um, his conditioning was way off. And uh, the crowd knew it as soon as he walked out. It was just dead silent. And people knew something was wrong. And, but like I said, he, was, he, didn't make the, he didn't make the final cut. He didn't make the top 15. Um, Kai Green and Phil Heath were both a little off last year. Phil had a, had a bout with uh, food poisoning. And Kai just timed things a little wrong. I think him and Oscar probably spent a little bit too long in Vegas before the, before the show last year with their prep. They came out a couple, couple months early. And, um, it's probably a little bit too long, so they're staying out in New York a little bit longer this year and uh, trying to correct things. But those, those are the big surprises for last year's show. The guys who were in the top six places last year will probably be in the top six places again this year. Um, we'll, I'll talk mostly about those guys and then a few of the guys that are probably like seven, eight, and nine that I think. Um, the dark horses that could sneak up into possibly the top six spots. Jay Cutler, um, as everybody knows, he came back last year and won his title back. Uh, the first time someone had uh, won their title back after they were defeated. And that was the first time in Mr. Olympia history that that was done. And he looked great. He was in, he was in phenomenal condition. It was the best I'd ever seen him, like I said earlier. And if Jay comes in looking that way again this year, there's a, there's a very strong possibility he will win his fourth Mr. Olympia title. Branch Warren last year, who came in second, um, there's, th no one could have predicted the way he looked last year. I don't think anyone predicted that he would have came in second place and, and, and placed ahead of Dexter Jackson, the, the guy that won it in 2008. Um, it's still debatable whether or not uh, he deserved second place. It was very close between him and Dexter Jackson. If he would have taken third, I don't think anyone would have complained. Um, it was very close, but he was in great condition last year, and the judges awarded him for it. Dexter Jackson, the Blade, took third last year at the Mr. Olympia, and he would like to win his title back. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind he wants to win his title back. He's been training with Charles Glass for a while out here in California, and um, I think Dexter is a little hungry this year, and I, he wants his title back. And he's training hard, and I think he's going to just step it up a little bit more. And uh, he looked good last year. I, I, he didn't look bad, but I think uh, I think he wants it. I think he stepped up his training a little bit, trying to trying to win his title back. Kai Green was in fourth place last year, and he again won the Arnold Classic uh, in March this year, uh, defeating Phil Heath. I don't think he was as sharp at the 2010 Arnold Classic as he was at the 2009 Arnold Classic. But a week or two later after the Arnold this year, he traveled to Australia for the Australian Pro. Uh, and his conditioning was much improved. And as Kai said, he thought that was the best shape that he'd ever been in. And judging from the photographs, I'd have to agree, he looked really, really good. If Jay's off this year, then we could have a new Mr. Olympia, Kai Green could could potentially uh, be the new Mr. Olympia. Last year I had predicted Phil Heath was going to win the Mr. Olympia. Little did I know that he was going to get overcome by food poisoning the night before the judging. I didn't know Jay Cutler was going to come in the most fantastic shape of his life. So Phil took fifth last year, Jay won it. Um, Phil took second at the Arnold Classic this year, um, just about six months ago. Uh, he 
was defeated by Kai Green. Um, it was close. I could have seen, you know, I thought Phil had it won, but um, apparently Kai sharpened up just enough at night and was able to uh, garner the first place trophy. Uh, Phil always makes great progress between each show if he stays healthy this year. Um, you know, I, I see him in a top three spot this year. Um, and, if, and if Kai and Jay are both off, he could step in and, and actually win the Mr. Olympia title too. Victor Martinez was able to get sixth place last year despite having a horrible, uh, horrible personal life last year. He had, he had a lot of things happening. Uh, probably the worst was his sister being murdered. And uh, without having his head and mindset at 100%, he was able to take sixth place in the world's biggest professional bodybuilding championship. I don't know what his leg is going to be up to the caliber of Mr. Olympia status yet uh, after his injury in 2008 that he required surgery for. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, we, I don't think we've seen the best Victor Martinez yet. I still think we will see the best Victor Martinez in the years to come. Um, we haven't seen it yet. Ronnie Rocco was seventh last year. He took sixth at the Arnold Classic. Um, I could have seen Ronnie a couple places higher at the Arnold Classic. I, I could have actually seen him in fourth place. So Ronnie has established himself as one of the better bodybuilders um, out there. Um, kind of flies under the radar. Um, he needs a little bit more back development, a little bit more width, a little bit more thickness, a little bit more detail. Um, but all in all, he's got good proportions, good symmetry. Uh, he's got enough muscle mass. And I, I think that with a little bit of fine tuning, uh, he, could, he could break into the top six this year. Tony Freeman is one of those guys that is inconsistent. You, you don't know which Tony Freeman's going to walk on the stage. He's going, he could be super ripped and shredded and flat. He could be full and a little smooth. He can put a winning combination together like he has a couple times. I think his best showing was the 2008 Mr. Olympia uh, or the 2007 Ironman. If, if, if Tony can put it together with a winning combination, you know, he's got a top position also. Uh, if not, I see him somewhere 7 through 10 this year. He's, 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 he's over 40, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for him than some of the other guys to to get in the type of condition that he needs to be at to place really well to Mr. Olympia. Dennis Wolf is a guy that everyone says has a lot of potential, and I agree, he does. Um, his breakout show was the 2007 Mr. Olympia. A lot of people thought he should have won it that year. Um, a lot of people thought he was going to win it the following year. Um, again, he's another guy that's been inconsistent with his, with his contest prep. and. If he comes in at uh, at 100 percent, the way everyone wants Dennis to look, uh, he's going to be in the top six. But he's struggling with getting the look that um, that Dennis needs to get. Last year he was way too smooth. He came into the New York Pro to requalify. He took third and did qualify this year, but he was flat. Um, he was depleted and he wasn't the normal full Dennis Wolf that we've seen. And I, I think if he can put it together, he's, he's gonna be a threat. But until he does that, um, he's, he's looking to, to make the top 10. But if he does put it together, he's top six. And it's all up to Dennis to see where he wants to actually place this year. Ruley Winkler, is one of those guys that it was amazing. I saw him at the at the Arnold Classic in the pump up room, and I I was shocked. I mean, in my preview article for the for the Arnold Classic, I had picked him to be dead last. You know, the new kid on the block always takes last in the Arnold Classic, so I thought that was pretty safe. I, I'd seen his pictures online from last year's uh, Arnold Amateur win. And, you know, he looked okay, but I didn't see him having a top spot against the best professionals. Uh, boy, I was shocked, and I think a lot of people were. 
Um, Ruli, after that show, had a pretty big fan base established. He came back, uh, qualified at the Mr. Olympia at the Australian Pro by taking third behind Kai and Dexter. And a few months later, he came back and he won the New York Pro against guys like Tony Freeman, Dennis Wolf, Hiritari Yamagishi. So, Ruli is one of those guys that you got to watch out for. He could, he could easily sneak into the top six this year if some of the other guys are off. He's got, like I said, he's got a huge fan base. Um, I've been reading on the bodybuilding.com message boards, and um, there, there was a debate who's got the best all time triceps, I think it was. And Ruli, was it Ruli Winkler or was it Phil Heath? And you had guys going back and forth. Um, saying, no, it's Ruli, his are, his are better, and, and then there's another guy saying it's uh, Phil Heath, and they're, they're comparing the, you know, the, lap, the long head of the tricep and the shape and the amount of striations. It was, pretty, it was pretty entertaining. So I enjoy reading that stuff, guys. Keep it up. I love reading it. Um, so who has the best triceps, uh, Phil or, or Ruli? Um, I'm hoping they're standing side by side. I'm hoping the guys in the message boards get to see them standing side by side this year also because um, I think everyone wants to see that. Um, that that'll be a good matchup between Ruli and Phil Heath. I, I hope I hope Ruli gets some comparisons in there and they all come in at a really you know really good shape. As far as predictions, um, last year I predicted Dexter Jackson to come in third and that was about the only thing that I got right. There wasn't a whole lot of people that predicted the outcome last year, and um, this year, it's hard to say, but I'll, I'll stick my neck out. I'm going to say Jay Cutler is going to win, uh, Kai Green in second, Phil Heath in third, um, Dexter Jackson in fourth, Victor Martinez in fifth, and I'm going to say Branch Warren in sixth place. Um, Ruli Winkler in seventh. So there you have it. Those are my predictions. Um, I am really looking forward to being there again this year. I'll be there with my wife, and we'll be having a good time in Vegas. And we will be um, keeping up with a hectic schedule, but it's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it again.